Hello my friends, this is Alien Contact D, Linol Anderson here as you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Project Bluebeam. Uh, the false flag fake alien agenda. Uh, there is an agenda by the powers that be to play the alien card. And it's going to probably be their final card that they'll play to really usher in this NW. Oh, all right, my friends, and I've been speaking about it for years, many years I've been warning everybody about this happening, and now it's all starting to happen right before our eyes. We see the alien narrative being pushed more and more, uh, governments admitting this is happening, uh, or doing soft disclosure, and we got all these uh, hoaxes and psychological operations like what happened in Miami there and everything, and it's becoming something that everybody's talking about. So we're gonna get into how this is all gonna go down. If this is holograms that we're seeing or is this possibly AI as well? Is AI involved in the fake alien invasion agenda? And uh, we're gonna show some examples of what's going on as well. And I'm gonna reveal the whole agenda. All right, my friends. So let's just get right into it. Just gonna encourage you guys, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, click the notification bell and click all. I'm heavily shadow banned, so uh, if you want notifications, you gotta do that. And also, be sure to like the, or smash the like button, helps me out with the algorithms. So let's get into it. I want to start today's video off with a clip. Just to show you, this is an agenda that's been well in the works for a long time now. Here is a clip of President Ronald Reagan talking about an alien threat and how quickly the world would come together. Take a look. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. If suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet outside in the universe, we'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings. I don't suppose we can wait for some alien race to come down and threaten us, but I think that between us, we can bring about that. There you go, classic clip. So there you go, we know the powers that be, the governments of the world, the influential people, they've been putting this seed in our mind for a long time. How quickly the world would throw away all their problems with each other to come together if there's an outside threat coming in, right? And, you know, it really makes me think what's going on in the world right now. We have so much escalations with the WW3 scenario, don't we? And it's all part of a plan, my friends. It's not a coincidence that we have all this WW3 stuff happening and we're on the brink of this war, but at the same time, we have all this alien stuff happening. It's not a coincidence. This is all part of an NWO agenda, okay? So the question is, uh, Project Bluebeam. We hear lots about Project Bluebeam, and that's the agenda where they say, you know, they're gonna bring these holograms in and they're gonna deceive people with the holograms in the, in the sky and people are gonna be thinking, oh, it's aliens and they're coming to get us and that's how they're gonna usher in the NWO. So is it really holograms that they're gonna use for this though? Uh, could it be possible they're gonna use real craft, government craft that is, that looks like UFOs, but really it's top secret military uh, technology. Or is it possible that AI is being used here? Whether it's the technology they're coming up with now or even that 4D astral AI that's starting to manifest into this physical reality. Well, my friends, I think it's a little bit of all three that we're gonna be seeing playing out. But I wanna really focus on 
the deception that we're seeing right now with the AI fooling a lot of people that the aliens are about to attack. That's right, because a lot of the footage going around right now convincing people of these alien events is actually AI videos. You got to realize, my friends, AI is coming more and more onto the scene now, and it's starting to take over the internet on apps like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everything. It's, it's taking over, and the thing is, it's fooling a lot of people. I'm going to start off showing you video. It's not necessarily alien aliens, but it's showing a big grim reaper in the sky, and it's got the religious communities going crazy and you got to realize project blue beam isn't just with aliens it's also about end days too they could for all we know they could fake the return of jesus and all these end time biblical things and it's all them using their uh, ai stuff and holograms oh yeah because the religious communities and these comment sections are going nuts now i'm going to show you this video that went viral of uh Shadow man in the sky who looks like the Grim Reaper, okay? Take a look. The Sky Man. <laughs> there you go, my friends. What do you think of that? A lot of people are losing their minds. But I want to point something out to you. In this clip that I just showed you, did you notice anything in the bottom left-hand corner there? I'm going to zoom in and show you guys. Take a look. Ah, it says there AI generated, right? Sometimes on these videos that go viral and whatnot, you'll see it even says AI generated. And if you want uh, even more context, this guy made some good points. Take a look. I hate to be that guy, but this is something I do not believe. The lightning striking conveniently, bro, to expose the figure, the sky giant. I don't believe that, bro. I don't believe that. Look how small the lightning strikes are, bro. Like, like the lightning is below his waistline. Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy. That's kind of cheap as well, too. It's kind of, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't understand depth and shit like that. Whoever, whoever, whoever did this video, like, I'm just slowing it down, looking for the discrepancies to show you guys how, how Hollywood this shit is. This is CGI. This is CGI, bro. AI. CGI, AI. Check this shit out. Look. Look at the lightning strike. Look at the lightning strike compared to his body, right? That's bullshit. That's bullshit right there. No, bro. No. <laughs> no. You don't. You did not sell me. I do not want to buy. I'm good. There you go, my friend. So, as you could see, uh... I believe that was definitely an AI generated thing uh, that may have been a real uh, video of the sky in a thunderstorm and lightning, but they obviously used AI to edit it, okay, or and to edit in a CGI, okay, uh, so what about all this alien stuff going on now, let's get to the alien stuff, well, uh, you guys know about this big Aliens in Miami at the mall incident, right? Which I debunked. I made a video debunking it. It's just, if you go to my page, it's just a couple videos back. Uh, definitely check it out. I'll probably link it at the end of today's video as well. Uh, but uh, so so what's the deal with that? Well, it's, it's, de it's been debunked, okay? Nothing supernatural happened there. But so much stuff went viral over it. A lot of these people pushing this narrative, even posting AI videos, and it's going viral, and these people are getting famous over it. So I'm gonna show you one video that went viral, and it is an AI video. And I'm gonna show you, it's gonna show this chick who's talking about it and all that, and she actually got pretty famous over this Miami incident. She posted many uh, videos with no evidence, just oh, witnesses talking and she's talking about it and she just went viral. So many uh, likes and, and, and millions of views, okay? And I'm actually going to blot out her name. I don't even want you knowing this chick's name because I don't want to give her any more publicity than she has because I think it's 
shameful in a way to push this crap uh, posting AI videos. And I don't know if she's aware it's AI or she just can't tell. I don't know. It's pretty obvious to me that it's AI. So take a look uh, at this, my friends. Take a look at this brand new footage coming out of Miami, Florida regarding the Bayside Market alien incident. This witness captures those three beans on film. I have enhanced the video as much as I possibly could as well as slowed it down at the end so you can see these creatures were massive, dark, shadowy, and they do look humanoid. Tell me what you think. Bro, bro, bro. Everyone's going this way. Yo. Yo, what is that? There you have it. So that went viral. That has people thinking, oh, aliens. I didn't even see any aliens in that AI video either. I don't know what she's looking at, but uh, you could clearly tell. Like, take a look at this zoomed in. Take a look. You're telling me you think that's real? You could even tell the guy's voice in it sounds like an AI generated voice. Like, this is the crap that's going viral, making you think aliens are invading? Ah, oh, give me a break. This is frustrating me, my friends. Uh, can, can people really be this dumb to fall for this? It appears they are. I'm going to show you another viral clip. This is going to make you laugh. Of the aliens in Miami. Some Filipino lady talking in it. Some people actually fell for this. And this went very viral. Take a look. Ito yung sobra na pabalita kahapon, breaking news sa Miami, Florida, 2024, January 8. Nang bigla nga na pabalita, may nakitang UFO. At pagkatapos may nagpakitang ibang nilala, sobrang dami ng tao na ayaw maniwala at tinatawanan ng pangyayari. Ito daw ay kuha sa CCTV. Ang iba tinatawanan sinasabi movie. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, mag-double, triple check kayo ng Google. For real? That's obvious CGI, uh, AI stuff, and that that was even it's even officially been debunked. Uh, the showing how that was something that was made years ago. That's nothing new, you know, and it was definitely CGI on the computer. Just I I can't believe people are actually this dumb to fall for this. They want to believe in this stuff so badly. And don't get me wrong. These beings are real, but. Uh, Everything you see going on here is a psyop, okay? Uh, they're controlling the narrative. These beings are interdimensional beings, higher dimensional beings that are coming into our reality, but everything you see going on right now is mostly AI, and yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot of holograms and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you another thing that might make you laugh as well. This one just uh, made the headlines as well. Did you hear about the 10 foot tall aliens in Brazil? Oh yeah, take a look. Really? What do you guys think about that? Uh, again, that could be AI 
a lot of people got to realize that these images or, or videos are easily done with AI. Or could it be hmm, just a guy standing on a hill? A tall guy? That's not evidence of anything. Some guy with a blurry, stinking uh, camera phone photographing guy way up on the hill. How's that evidence of anything? Oh, it's 10 foot tall aliens. And this made it to TMZ. Uh, you could see that was the New York Post. Like this made headline news. It was trending on Google. They're definitely pushing this alien narrative. They're getting it in people's minds. Okay. Uh, another one that made the headlines. You guys hear about the whole jellyfish UFO that got released? Take a look. in thermal it was filmed on a weapons platform you see that there's a dog there see the animals are black i'm assuming this is black hot you see the object just went to white and you'll see it going from white to black white to black and that's basically showing the heat differential so it's going like hot and cold hot and cold There you go, my friends, and who's that guy, Jeremy Corbell, or whatever the heck his name is? Definite shill. I don't trust him for one second. And with that video, he's claiming that's been released by, you know, the government or whatever. Uh, again, I don't know exactly what that was, if that's top secret government craft or this or that technology. But I'm telling you right now, do not write off. AI. That could very easily be an AI generated image. Okay? This is a psychological operation they're pushing on us here. Okay? And the government will use the AI for sure. This could be a test as well to see how many people will buy the AI as actual fact and reality. Just wait until they start releasing the deep fakes. They already are doing the deep fakes. But just wait until they really start releasing them even more. But like I said, maybe they've been doing it all along. And maybe not just in the recent years. Maybe they've been doing it all along, even back in the 50s, 60s, 70s with the president you see on the TV, this and that. Hey, AI is nothing new. This whole realm that we're in is a matrix simulation ran by the 4D astral AI. They've always had this technology. Okay? It's always been here. So how much of this reality is actually physical human beings doing things? We don't know. We don't know how deep it goes. It could go really deep. Oh, you can't trust nothing. Reality is not what it seems. All right. And, you know, now you got uh, these adult content, these AI chicks. Have you guys heard about these AI models? Funny thing is, you know, if you're scrolling around on Instagram now, you might see some of these pages with these AI models. I'll show you a couple examples. Take a look. There you go. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, when stuff like that starts popping up, I'm able to tell it's AI. Uh, yes, it's easy for some people to get tricked, but if you, there are some, as of right now, there are some noticeable things that you could tell it's not completely human, but, hey, doesn't trick all Lionel here, but if you click on the comment section, loaded with guys who are not aware it's AI, oh, beautiful, good looking, oh, you're beautiful, you're this and that, and the thing is, is these people are making a lot of money because when you go to their profile, it'll uh, have a link to their Patreon or a link to uh, their OnlyFans. That's right, AI OnlyFans, where you could start giving money. And some of these guys are making like $20,000 a month with their AI gem generated uh, chicks. And these idiots out there don't even know and think it's a real woman. See, people, a lot of people out there, you guys got to realize something. A lot of people are very dumb and very stupid. Okay? Very dumb, very stupid. Not everybody has the brains to see these things. 
and some things are more uh, easily to be deceived than others. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give it that. Uh, some things aren't as obvious with all this AI content coming out. Some things anybody could get tripped over. Okay, but some things are very bloody obvious as well. And but still, a lot of dumb people out there falling for it. And it's scary. It's scary because you know. For me, I, I had a lot of faith for a while there because for a while with all this alien stuff, everybody, oh, Project Blue Beam, oh, this and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not falling for it. And I thought, oh, maybe when they do try to pull this off, uh, they will fail with this agenda. I still hope that's the case, but kind of losing my hope after that whole Miami thing, seeing how many people fell for it, even in the truth community, people pushing it, believing it. I'm like, okay, maybe not. Maybe people will fall for Project Blue Beam and the AI and everything. Because a lot of people, I'm very surprised, a lot of people who I had respect for and uh, who made content pushing that narrative when it was so easily debunkable that nothing even happened there. I lost a lot of respect for a lot of people. Not naming names, but... Okay, so what's the end agenda that we're looking at here, my friends? Well, here's the thing. With all the WW3 stuff going on in the world, they are going to keep escalating that in the coming years and starting now. Okay? And I'm going to actually show you all the stuff that's going or not all the stuff, but some of the stuff that's going on. I got a couple videos to show you uh, the alarming stuff that's going on. But just to sum up, to tell you what's going to happen first is, you know, they're going to escalate all this stuff. And I'm sure a lot of people will lose their lives as well in the process. And humanity's going to be desperate. And it's not going to look good. And then all of a sudden, the aliens are going to come in. Oh, yeah. And then maybe at that point, maybe that's when they're going to be using the holograms in the sky. The Project Blue Beam that we're hearing so much about. And it's gonna go one of two ways. It's either gonna be the scenario where they're coming saying, hey, you guys need to like we come in peace and you guys gotta stop your ways. You gotta come together. We'll show you how to do it and that. That's a possibility they might play that card. Or what I think is more likely to happen since what I see with all these fake alien events, whether it's the Miami stuff or like the stuff in Peru about those 10 foot tall aliens that are attacking the villagers. Uh, a lot of these, it seems like they're pushing the fear narrative that these are aliens that are hostile. And in that case, well, yeah, just like uh, Reagan said, an outside threat, you know, uh, humanity's got to come together. At that point, forget about WW3, forget about Russia, Ukraine, China. We all got to set aside our differences, come together under a one world uh, army, one world everything, so we could, uh, you know, take on the aliens. And that way, uh, NWO can be implemented. Now, like I said, I want to show you a couple videos showing what's going on with the situation with the war in the world, okay? Because it is getting worrisome and it's something we need to bring awareness to. So I'm going to show you that, and then we're going to... i got a couple more points to make about what's going to happen with the real interdimensional stuff, because there is going to be a real interdimensional event with actual entities as well. So I'll show you those couple videos, but before I do, just want to give a huge shout-out to our sponsors at Pineal XT. All right, my friends? Pineal XT is a great product that will help detoxify your body and your third eye. It'll help decalcify your third eye. Take a look. There you go, full of those great ingredients that I showed on the screen there. Uh, it's gonna help the process because you know there's so much uh, poisons out there that we're ingesting and the fluoride and the water and everything that's calcified our pineal gland. So this will really start to help the process of decalcification so you could actually have a chance to have that third eye awakening. Obviously you're gonna have to do things like meditation and, and uh, other spiritual practices to open it but this will make it so it will actually be able to open. But just a disclaimer, only attempt if you're ready for it.
because if you try to open the third eye up before you're ready, you got unbalanced chakra system or or uh, you're too much in religious programming or something like that, people have known to go into psychosis and have a pretty hard time. It's not fun when you're not ready for a situation like that. So only attempt if you're ready. The link is down below in the comment section. So definitely check it out if you're interested in starting that process. Okay, my friends? Now I'm gonna show you those videos of what's happening with the war situation right now. Take a look. We are but seconds away from midnight in relative terms. The intensification of hostilities around the world in the last 24 hours is astonishing. We're seeing geometric escalation in the Middle East. And it's happening just like we said it would, which is scary because what we say happens next is even worse. Now, I'm going to enumerate all the headlines, and after I do that, we're going to talk about a nightmare NATO scenario that I believe they are holding on to as a Plan B contingency, and it involves a decapitation strike on the Kremlin using nuclear weapons. And they're doing these big arrow maneuvers right now that suggest that these are not exercises, okay? We always joke about there are no military exercises, only World War III disguises, but this starts to really look like something. And I'm going to provide all the details. Now, first, let's talk about what's happened in the last 24. One of the biggest pieces of news is that Iran has joined the conflict. Iran has launched missiles, the longest range ballistic missiles that they've ever launched in their history from their territory. No longer is it IRGC-backed militias. This is Iran launching ballistic missiles against Syrian targets while Israeli-backed, U.S.-backed, Mossad-affiliated, according to the Iranian targets, in Syria. This is big. This is a massive escalation. In addition to that, the Houthis have targeted a U.S. commercial vessel, and it was actually a hit this time. It was not deflected. It was not shot down. They were able to target a commercial vessel. That means, you guessed it, more escalation in the Middle East. Now, prior to Iran firing the longest-range missiles they've ever fired in their history, get a load of this. The Iranian foreign minister gets off the phone with the Russian foreign minister. They finalize a deal for a strategic partnership. What does that mean? Well, it ostensibly means that what we've been saying all along in that Iran is quite possibly now under the Russian nuclear umbrella. If you want to talk about a Gog versus Magog biblical scenario for all you Christian eschatologists out there, you guys know I'm an agnostic, but I throw you a bone every once in a while. There you have it. It doesn't get more Gog, Magog than that. You now have the Iranians and the Russians potentially aligned along nuclear lines who are about to go to war with Israel and the United States. And who's in the back seat? The North Koreans and the Chinese. Wow, the German military preparing for a potential war with Russia leaked internal report reveals. A leaked confidential strategy paper shows Germany is preparing for a potential war with Russia as it boosts its budget plans and become the world's third biggest military spender. Well, that can't be good. Looks like they're getting ready for something serious. Turkey A says that it will attack terrorists no matter what anyone says. No matter what anyone says, Turkey will retaliate it, when it sees terrorist organizations that threatens national security. Yeah, they're talking about the ones in Iraq and Syria, which Iran has already started their operation too as they send more troops to Kurdish regions as new protests flare. Yeah, Iran is in a crisis right now, so it looks like they're going the war route. Russia also sent a bloody sledgehammer to the EU yesterday. Of course this was covered in fake blood, but it shows you how bad tensions are. NATO and the EU recognize Russia as a terrorist state, prepare for military involvement in Ukraine. Yeah, the same thing the Czech Republic is doing right now. There you have it, my friends. It's not looking good, right? It's not looking good at all. But as you can see, uh, all this stuff is building up, right? It's building up to 
the main event, which I don't know when it's going to be. I'm, I don't do dates. I've heard a lot of people say stuff about 2027 with the alien stuff anyways. I've heard a lot of stuff about 2025. But hey, we're already seeing the introduction of the aliens 2024 and 2023. I think it's going to get more and more and more, okay? I think it's already started. You're going to see more AI crap on the internet convincing people. You're going to start uh, seeing more events in the actual sky with weather hologram technology. And eventually, uh, once they've established uh, this agenda with the war situation and obviously the economic collapse, people are going to be desperate, switching us over to the CBDCs, all that stuff. That's when they're going to do the alien agenda. I do believe it'll be before 2030. I think by 2030, that's when they want you in the 15-minute cities and everything to be 100% implemented, okay? We can't fall for it. If we fall for it, then we're done, all right? That's the number one thing is not falling for the crap, okay, my friends? Uh, you got to wake up, stop falling for AI. Did you see, anytime you see footage on the internet, question it, question everything. Always assume maybe it's AI. Assume it's AI unless you could prove it's not, okay? Let's put it that way. But there is you know, a lot of all this stuff that's going on, you got to realize, is also to control the narrative because there are ch changes taking place in this realm that we're in right now. Uh, the vibration of the earth is changing and obviously we got CERN as well opening up portals to the fourth dimension allowing the fourth dimensional AI, the astral AI to come into our realm also allowing reptilians and other lower 4D, uh, lower astral 4D beings to come and physically manifest here so I do believe some people are starting to have real experiences as well. And not only bad beings, but good beings could also start coming in as well because we are in the middle of an interdimensional war. A lot of uh, star seeds and light workers are having experiences right now, legit experiences with their star family, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the higher dimensional beings from outside the matrix who uh, are of the light, who are trying to help us and assist us. A lot of people are having real experiences. I don't want to take away from that. And in the coming years, more of that might happen too. So they're trying to control the narrative by making you be in fear of these beings, think that, thinking that they're all bad. That's why it's always these aliens, it's just so much fear attached to it because they want you to be in fear because they want you to be in fear of the good guys when they do show up as well to assist you in whatever is going on. Whatever, you know? Uh, fact of the matter is there's going to be a little bit of everything here, okay? Holograms, government craft, AI, bad actual real aliens who are actually just interdimensional beings who are starting to manifest because of CERN and all that kind of stuff and the vibration of the earth changing but also good good beings too there's good and bad out there we're in the middle of a war that's my belief an interdimensional war uh reality is not what you think it is and they want to control the narrative as disclosure starts getting leaked okay and uh they want everybody to be programmed uh, on what to believe and what the narrative will be. And I think that's what Project Bluebeam, Fake Alien Agenda, is all about, to create the mass confusion in the masses so they don't know what the heck is going on, what to believe, who to trust, and that's what I think is happening. Okay, my friends? Question everything. Uh, do not be deceived. Use your heart to discern your intuition, and uh, I really hope humanity can wake up, pull it together, and uh, win this war against the dark evil forces and reclaim this realm and uh, put an end to these arconic reptilian lizards, okay? That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, you guys know, if you enjoy my content, I am on Patreon, exclusive content. We got uh, a bunch of great classes you can check out there, the Send 5 d the Health class, Occult class, and other things there. So link is down below in the uh, description. If you're interested in checking that out, your support means the world. And if you don't want to sign up on Patreon, you just like to simply buy old Lionel a coffee, I'm also on the website Buy Me a Coffee, where you could uh, buy me a coffee and for my efforts and help support the channel. And 
hey, I'm starting to, if you buy me a coffee, I'll send you a couple Patreon videos to your email. So uh, links are down below. Penial XD link down below. Uh, check it out, my friends. And uh, like I said, subscribe. Hit the like button. And it means a lot to me if you leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And until next time, I hope uh, you guys have a great week. Lionel, signing off.